we're going to talk about how to walk with a dog in control. Uh, control is a word I use that might be many different uh, ways of control, whether it's uh, at the end of my lead, pulling a little bit. I don't mind a little tension on my lead. I also train my dogs for that with the show ring. So that, that is something that I'm okay with. Some people want a completely loose lead. Uh, so we work with a couple different ways. I'm gonna tee up a video that's after, this is kind of an introduction, if you will. Sit, sit. Um, is I a combo lead or something that has a little bit more control? It's still soft, and but it has a, it's called a combo lead through Mezami, same place I get my collars, but it has a stop gap, so it has a collar, but I also have control and it has a bit of um, correction when I am walking a dog. So I can say, let's go frenzy. And so I can kind of guide her around. Notice I always have my collars underneath the jaw and right behind the ears. So I have the most control when I have the control of the head. So uh, I do not use harnesses to walk. I don't, I don't feel that you have control of the dog when there's a harness on a dog. I use harnesses for tracking and for carting. When my dogs pull a cart, pulling a cart is the key. Is harnesses to me are for pulling. So um, these guys are bred to pull. You put a harness on them, they will pull. They lower down into their shoulders. Dogs pull with their shoulders. So if I have, I have control of the leash and I have control of the head with this, I can do anything I want with this dog. Although she is a bratty puppy and we'll talk about that in another video. So working on that. So I'm gonna <laughs> let them go play with the leash. The next video you'll see as part of this video is me working with the dog who has a lot of energy when I pull him out to go to go on a walk. So first thing I would try, you can try many different things. First thing with this dog is to go, just start jogging. For me, I can jog and run my dogs. They are a high energy or a higher energy dog. We start going and normally I would just run, get his willies out, get him calmed down, and then I can get his focus. That's the next thing I do is I work on getting focus. I want them, I'll put them in heel position. We'll do a few, few healing um, routines. So I'll get a dog and we'll go for a walk. Get in, get in. Let's go, Frenzy. Let's go, yeah! Good girl! So I, high energy healing, getting her attention. So now she's focused on me and she wants to work. I'll do this on a walk to get my dog's attention on me and not everything else. The other thing I do is I, I do expect them to be higher energy level at the beginning of a walk and I accept that and we'll go a little bit faster and then we can slow down once the energy level has come down a little bit. I always have food on me when I'm, when I'm go out with my dogs for many reasons. Um, one, I want to be more exciting than something else that my dog might be interested in. I want to make sure that I can reward my dog for behavior. If my dog needs to focus on me when we're walking, I can give them food and I can bring them away from a trigger or I can bring them over somewhere that I want them away from something that's coming. If I need to move over and another dog is coming, I can get my dog to sit and focus on me with food. And so I'm more exciting than the other dog. And I try and like, if it's really exciting, I get down here, I've got my leash and I'm like, good dog, good dog. And I'm, I'm just focused on my dog, not the person, not the other dog. I've got my dog's lead up around their neck and I'm in focus and control. The last thing I do is, if all else is failing, modify your walk, drive somewhere where it's less exciting, where there's less triggers. Maybe it's not out to your front door. Hi. Maybe it's not out your front door. It might be taking your car and going to a park that's a little bit more quiet. Uh, where there's less dogs, less people, less chaos going on and your dog can calm down. Um, it might be going somewhere where it's safer. Um, also look at your lead. Make sure you're not using a flexi lead or a retractable leash. You have very little control. Uh, they're pretty dangerous actually for the dog and people. I do not recommend them. Use a lead that you have control of of your dog. So in this video, I'll show you a little bit about how I work with a dog who's got a lot of energy coming out of the gate and how I get him to refocus and work with his behavior. Enjoy. So I bring a dog out of the dog run and he's 
acting like a dork. He's grabbing my arm, my clothes, I, jumping on me. He's telling me he's excited to get out. So we're gonna get the collar up around his jaw, behind his ears, and we're gonna go because that's what he needs to do. Let's go. up which was fine normally I would just go for a jog but I can't do that on a video so I have treats you will never find me without treats when I'm with the dog because get this look who has complete focus now that I have treats George knows basic obedience so I'm gonna start asking him to do the things I want him to do so, yeah. got his brain going and he wants to do this with me. So dogs give behaviors when they have nothing else to do. Get back. Get back, 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 back. Good boy. Down. Down. Oh, what's that treat? Get him down. Good. So I've now engaged him. So I have a dog that's well behaved. If you've taught your dog to sit or down or spin or shake, Give them those things to do so they have something good to do instead of bad behaviors, which is what dogs will fill the space with if you're not engaging their brain. If I just stood here and he starts jumping on me, grabbing my clothes, then I'm failing him. So I'm, I need to give him something to do to redirect that energy into something positive. Ready, George? Ready? Ready? So then I jog him. gentlemen because I was able to get him focused and thinking and so because I show dogs I'm kind of doing a little dog show jogging but if you don't show dogs just go for a jog just I mean I could just do one block get his his energy down and he's a much better behaved dog he's a very well trained dog it's just the dogs get excited just as kids do just as we do and we have to work with them instead of against them if you've got a dog that's biting the leash, biting you, he's telling me, aboard, tell me to something to do, George, down. George, down. Happy to do it because he wants to think. These guys are intelligent beings. They want to do good things for us, but we have to tell them what to do. If I'm standing here doing nothing, I'm telling him nothing, so he's going to fill the void by chewing on my clothes, jumping on me, pulling me, grabbing the leash, if you have any of those problems, start to decide how to make a purpose of when your dog is doing Make a purpose of doing something that gets them distracted. And now he's being a really good boy and I'm telling him he's a good dog, yes. And because he got his energy out, he can sit nicely while we're on a video and give a few behaviors. So think through those times when your dogs are at their worst and start to problem solve how you can make it better by asking them to do things that they know how to do. Right, George? George. Yeah. Happy training.